here's how to turn a an equirectangular or spherical two by one image uh, skybox into a cube map for use with source engine. Move your mouse to this corner or that corner uh, and drag out to get yourself. Click on this button, the editor type, change it to the shader editor. Press N to hide this nonsense. I'm going to go ahead and turn on shortcut viewer, uh, which is an add-on I have installed so you can see what keys I'm pressing. Then uh, edit the world nodes, click use nodes. And there, there's the nodes. Uh, find the HDRI that you want to turn into a skybox. Or it doesn't have to be a HDRI, but... Anyway, for example, this is an image. I just drag it into the node editor. There it is. Um, do Shift-S with the node selected and then to replace it and change it to an environment texture. And then hook that into there. And for rendering mode, uh, I like to use this EV rendering engine and then the rendered view. And there you go. Well, this is a really beautiful HDR that I downloaded from somewhere. Uh, free HDR website. Let me check. Uh, don't look at that HDR I free HDRI Haven that's the site I got it from um, so now I want to animate so I'm gonna try to there you go and then dope sheet or no timeline there you go so I can animate I'm gonna set the end frame to six I'm gonna zoom way in I'm gonna actually save the file oh okay uh let's put it in here sure Because I like to save my files. Um, now, how will I turn this into? Yes. So um, you might start with a camera and a cube and all of that nonsense. My empty file has those deleted. So uh, anyway, I'm going to add a camera if I can find it. Yes, there it is. Um, with the no rotation. Now, in the skybox to source zip that I will include, there's blender camera txt. Um, which shows you the angles that you need. Uh, and I do them in this order, and um, to use the Blender Skybox to source batch file, you need to put them in this order. So I'll put this on my other screen so I can read it. Yep. Uh, so then the first frame of the camera, let's... Right, while we're at it, you want a perspective camera, but you want field of view, and you want to give it 90 degrees field of view. Then you want to set your... In this uh, scene tab, set the render to something that's square. For example, 1024 by 1024 is usually nice for a skybox. And then 90 degrees field of view, you can see it's exactly a quarter. So that's perfect. Oops. Yes, I'm going to rotate like this. Right, of course. Um, all right, I still have the text file open on my other screen. So go to the object tab of the camera 
and start making those frames. So go to the first frame. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six frames. Yes, you go to the first frame, right click, drag in here to switch frames. I think there's a shortcut for it. it can be this, that, no. Well, anyway, um, and then let's see, the first angle is 90, zero, zero. 90, zero, zero, perfect. So I hover over this number and I press I. And then I go to the next frame where it's 90, zero, minus 90. So I set this to minus 90 and I press I. Now I switch to the next frame, 90, zero, 180. 180, I, next frame, 90, zero, 90, 90, uh, I, next frame, 180, zero, minus 90, 180, zero, minus 90, on the fifth frame, I, and the last frame, zero, zero, minus 90, I. And there, now the whole camera animation is in. You can just save this blend file somewhere and just append the camera from it. Um, let me attempt to show you how to do that. So you would go append uh, from your blend file that you're making and it doesn't like that. Maybe it's because this is the current one that we're in. Let me try something. I make a new one. Let's see if I can append from it. Append. Sky tutorial. Object camera. Append. So now you've got your camera object, which ta-da has all the keyframes for the animation in it. And let's see what else it has in it. Does it have the correct camera settings? It does. Perspective, field of view, 90. Beautiful. And then you still need to go in your uh, scene settings. 1024, 1024. Or you can just, you know, save the, the preset thing and only change just the HDRI out and render. No. Let's go back here. Get back to work. Set this to rendered view again so I can see the sky. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, in here, you can adjust how bright it is with the strength slider over here. I'm gonna leave it at default. And if you shift A to add S to search type mapping, you want a mapping node over here, connect that. And you want a not a UV map, but a texture coordinate node, and then plug the generated into the vector here. And then you can actually rotate the sky. So you can put it at whatever angle you like. Let's rotate it minus 30 degrees. Positive 30 degrees. Sure. Let's do positive 30 degrees around the Z axis. I wouldn't mess with the other axes. That's weird to not have a horizon that's, you know, aligned to the horizon. Um, so now all you need to do is go to your scene settings, set it how you want to set it. I would like PNG, RGB, 8-bit, 100% compression, and then where I want to save it is not in CTMP, but uh, in a new folder, sky tutorial over here next to the blend file, relative path, and then it will just put it right there. I typically call this folder render or something. Um... I believe that's all you need. You just hit Control F12 to render the whole animation. Did it? Did it not work? Is it working? I can't tell if it's working. I don't think it worked. Oh, it it was working. It was just taking really long for some reason. I guess because of the compression. You can turn the compression off. It doesn't matter anyway because it's it's just temporary PNG files that you then turn into. Uh, 
something else. So there you go. Turn that PNG compression off. Mm. Six frames done. Beautiful. Don't need that blend anymore. Let's... Um... Yep, there's all the frames. They're named 001 for 0006. So I copy those into the Skybox to source input folder. Um, and then um, the source Skybox to source one. Okay, wrong text editor. Uh, what does that one do differently? Right, that just, if if your images are actually made to be used with source, then it just goes back is back, front is front, and it doesn't mess with them. Uh, I also made a Unity one, which goes, if it has back in the name, then it's left. If it has front in the name, it's right, and because source is stupid, and that's just how things are. Uh, and then the Blender one takes frame one for six. Pretty cool. Uh, so then I'm going to use the Blender one. Skybox name. Uh, what What's the HDR? Like Cape Hill or something? Let me check. It was Cape underscore Hill. So I will name it that. Sky underscore Cape underscore Hill. The texture format. Um, let's just go with the BGR. 888 is a pretty common format for skyboxes. The VTF version 7.4 because I want to use it in something that is not Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's very quick because it doesn't have to compress them with uh, BGR or RGB. Um, right, not here, but uh, there. And there's my output, Sky Cape Hill. Look at that, not too bad. Um, these VMTs at the moment don't state the required thing to state to make it work with HDR. Uh, I'm gonna literally fix that right now during this recording. Uh, so let's see. Am I blind? Where is it? Skybox. What's a skybox that has HDR support? This one, HDR compressed texture is what you need to put, and then it will work with HDR too. I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure whether that's necessary, but Like this. So then I should be able to go like this, like that. Oops. Uh, no, I need to copy the whole line. Okay, so you don't have to worry about this. This is just something that I'm doing right now so that you never have to do it. Yep, looks good. All right, and then right. Let's finish the part of the video that anyone could possibly care about. You now copy these. I like to just uh, cut them and paste them in your Skybox folder, and then you use the name Sky underscore Cape underscore Hill if you called it that. Ignore the LF up, etc. Things. Um, yeah, you use that for your Sky name and Hammer, and then. You know, nice, pretty sky. Uh, so that's that video done, I guess. You can now keep watching me fix this stupid thing. Hmm. Actually, I don't think I have to change anything. Yeah, I don't think I need to change anything. Let's try it right now.
whether you use BGR or RGB doesn't matter. Uh, but officially, BGR is like the one you should you're supposed to use. I think. I don't know why exactly. And there you go. Yeah, that works. Sweet. I don't have to change anything. Skybox, paste those, replace, yes. Um, I'll include the blend, I guess, so that you can just replace your HDR. What the hell is it? Don't worry about that. Yeah, so that you can just replace the, the HDR with your own equirectangular thing. Don't forget to switch on rendered mode so you can actually see what you're doing. I believe you need a, a fairly modern graphics card, OpenGL free and up support uh, to be able to use Blender 2.8. But this whole thing works fine in Blender 2.79. Although you won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to use my blend file, I suppose. I don't know if, if you can maybe append the camera from it still and the material. Uh, but anyway, you, you've seen the tutorial. You can just make your own blend file and use that to create this node setup, this animation setup with the camera, the scene, set the path correct, set the output settings to something nice. I'll pack the this particular HDR because, I don't know, it's nice. Getting a bunch of Discord messages all of a sudden. Uh, whatever, I will look at those later. Let's see, Sky Tutorial. Okay, sweet. It's still small enough. I, actually, I don't think it packed it. I think I did the uh, the wrong thing. That's not the pack button. That's the fake user button. Those are not the same thing. <laughs> uh, sometimes it says this and uh, that's just a 2.8 bug don't worry about it uh yes yeah, so fake user is not what i need i need to pack it is this packing it is this packing it i'm just gonna open a uv editor over here select the image um Image back. Uh, it's PNG. Actually, maybe not. Uh, maybe not as good. Hmm. So I, I think it's back now. Click to unpack. can see the original image. Um, right, now it's back. Let's see what that did to the file size. Now it's 25 megabytes. All right, I will include a smaller HDR or perhaps just leave this empty. Let's just leave it empty. So use file in original location remove get him out of here get him out of here there you go now there's a little zero yes so now the uh, the sky is not included but uh, you just have to put your own your own environment in texture. It doesn't have to be a high dynamic range image as long as it just needs to be equirectangular. Uh, so two by one spherical map. Um, I like the settings as they are. 
I guess I'll close that and include this with the include this in the description of the video will be convenient to have.